we'd just about finished fusion. And you've got to remember that, you know, we were spending no money at that time. We were in this tiny, horrible office and we are all, you know, we were all going to the toilet and sink because there wasn't a toilet and that we were eating disgusting, cheap food. And, um, and so there was no risk uh, uh, involved at all. And I think we took round Fusion and a very early Populous round to these their publishers. And I think Firebird said no. And then um, we went round to quite a few other publishers. And uh, eventually Electronic Arts said yes. Populous as a game evolved rather than being designed. I think my first thought was, let's create a little world and have these little people moving around this little world. It was only when I started being confronted with real problems of creating this little world, like how to get the little people moving around the coast and, and moving around objects that I started laying game mechanics which, which made up for how incompetent I was as a coder. So a little person would come to some water and I couldn't work out how to get them around that water, so I just had the player raise the land up. That's how the game came about, is because I was a rubbish coder. So this game kind of evolved. There wasn't really anything much like it, and this was a problem when we were taking it around to publishers, because there was, you know, you'd show the game to someone and they'd say, well, I don't understand what that's all about, you know, just go back and finish it off and maybe we'll look at it again. Um, and it took about, I think, about nine months to make. It was me and Glenn. Um, Glenn was doing the graphics and I was just kind of doing the gameplay. Um, it was a joy to make because Glenn and I used to spend hours and hours playing the game.